Hello YouTubers, thanks for joining me again. Well today I'm at the St Peter's Churchyard in Addingham and we'll just have a quick look. It's absolutely a gorgeous churchyard. And the reason why I'm here today is I am looking at the resting place of Samuel Lister. Mr. Lister, who owned Lister Mills in Bradford. I believe his remains are here with his family, well, most of his family. And I'm also going to have a chat with Reverend Mark, who is a vicar of this church, and we'll do a quick tour. Thank you for joining us today. We are standing at the entrance to the Lister family crypt. So down here under this grass uh, there's a staircase and the entrance is under this slab there and if you walk down the stairs you'll come to a door underneath the church and that has a crypt and all the people named here their remains their coffins are still in the crypt underneath the church but I don't think anybody has been down there since about 1983 4. So, so how, do they go, how do they go down there though in, in, the, in, in those days? In well, they, they'd have opened up all this yeah. uh, and gone down, to remove the slabs, and the oh, staircase was still there. The door was open. Oh, the door was open. <laughs> so, the last, the last vicar who's here yeah. went in and checked door, everything was all right, closed the door, and we came back. But uh, oh. until uh, a member of the family <laughs> wants to be reburied mm. or, or buried here again when well, there's no real need to open it That's fascinating. so these are the remains of samuel lister yeah yep the owner of lister mills lister incredible yep. you know uh, i had no idea he was actually buried in addingham and uh, uh, i pose the question why was he buried if you don't really know they had, uh, they had a special train it came from uh, uh masham the railway spot because then the railway network uh, the place was closed for a day. Uh, full train came with the mourners and the family, and it was a, a huge, big thing here. This is where the family business started. If you go down the road to, to Low Mill, mm. it's the first rusted mill in the world. Right, okay. This is where it all, all began. Amazing, isn't it? An extension to the church hall, they found a Saxon burial. So that goes back to the 9th century. So there was something here before then, it's obviously lost. Yeah. Yeah. If you think about it, it's on, it's on a hill by a river. Mm. That's nice right. fields around, people yeah. have been living here. Well, the Romans were just down the road, weren't they? Mm. So, these are all the list of headstones. It's a common fister, isn't it? Right. So there's a, there's a John Cunliffe. So Farfield Hall. I think they you know, might tell us in uh, Farfield Hall when I'm yeah. uh, driving yes. the boards on the left. And I think to myself, what a beautiful place. And it really looks like a, a beautiful old deadly ball. Yeah. Beautiful. And it wasn't, it's not an old building. Mm. It's, oh, is it? Yeah. No, it's fairly Victorian, I think. But here, so he started there, didn't he? Wow, look at that! Even says Manningham Hall. I think Manningham Hall is long gone. Yeah. But then Farfield Hall, and then they moved out to to Swinton. So when I mentioned the vault, that's that's the entrance under. Yeah. So that yeah. So we're on the other side of the door, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Which is really amazing, really. So these are the headstones, did you say? These are, these are various members of the family. The local, they, they married into the Cunliffs, the Ballistas, and the Coates. And the Coates were also clergy. Yeah, they were, they were around the church. There was kind of English middle classes yeah. in the village. They ran everything. Is there anybody left from their family around I mean, Yeah, well, there's... Uh, I'm not many around here. Yeah. Uh, but there's, uh, there's the people who... Who bought Swinton Hall back from? I think it was the local education authority, right? It was a school. Where is Swinton um, Hall? I mean, I don't even know where Swinton. It's near Massam. 
So you yeah, go to right North Yorkshire right. towards Leyburn and Richmond. Right, okay. So it's not far away. Yeah, really. It's worth having a look. And they've, in, in the hall, they've got a lot of stuff about. So there's a family yeah. and the mill. Is it open to the public or Yeah, yeah, go for it. Sure. All right, okay, that's a good idea. Just a 10 quid. <laughs> It looked very nice. Yeah, it's, it's a hotel, so you could... Oh, right, okay. So that's where's the headstone for Samuel, uh, Lister, sorry? Well, the that's main, it. The main Samuel... Person. Was that this, the main one? This is it. And the only other thing, because they're buried underneath here, they're in, they're in the cellar underneath this bit. Right. Because so was, traditionally, uh, the idea was you got buried as close as possible, if you could, to the altar. To the altar. Yeah. Ah. Because on the day of the resurrection... This is where it starts there. Mm. So the closer you were, yeah. you might get a lift up. I get you. If you're back there, yeah. forget it, no chance. <laughs> you missed the bus. <laughs> oh, I'm, uh, <clears throat> oh, well, well, we're with it all, to be honest. Yeah, same here. Did you have any idea all this was happening in here? None whatsoever. No, I, didn't. I got the job, I had no idea they were all here. Yeah. Honestly, I've been on the internet and I can't find, there's not much about it, to be honest. It's only a couple of pictures of that mm. headstone outside, or the you know. Yeah. yeah. So was he the first to be buried here, of the of the listers, or? I think we're gonna have a look. So he was nineteen oh six. But his wife, yeah. eighteen seventy five, and she's down there. Right. Okay. So if you look at the different ones, so. Uh... So he was grandson of John Con of eighteen ninety five. Yeah, but. You could, the, this this style of headstone here, this memorial here, yeah. is older than these and that one. So they're probably, these are more Georgian style than Victorian. So you're the crypt, is it basically, are they embalmed or entombed or just in the coffin? And then they... I think there would have been, I think because they were wealthy people, they would have been embalmed. I don't know whether the coffins are lead right, okay. or, or oak, but it's a solid oak, it'll be fairly untouched. You used to be buried here, most people buried here, mm. were buried in just a shroud, mm. no coffin. Yeah. So you didn't last long. Yeah. You were consumed. <laughs> but the, these bodies are still going to that's right, I think they're come lift, so I'm not sure how the family tree works. Interesting. There's a few listers, a couple of listers on the three listers died in the first war, I don't know if they're related. And the and the con lift as well. Yeah. So it was is his name double battled or is Conliffe his, is his middle name? I think it was more. I think it was Conliffe was, was a family name mm -hmm. from the female side. Okay. Um, and then Lister was he wasn't originally. Then they added K to it. Okay. And I don't know where the K comes, so it could be three Conliffe Lister K. Right, okay. Like if you get to be that rich and posh. <laughs> So there you go, another piece of uh, Bradford history documented and I much appreciate for you guys viewing my video, subscribing, liking and I'm really finding the comments helpful. It gives it uh, a worthwhile doing these videos. So from now till next time, peace out.